Thanks, Hazel Doors, for putting this challenge on, bringing awareness to men's mental health. Something that needs to be talked about and often goes not talked about and can lead to some pretty serious situations. So, Show Us Your Steak Challenge is accepted and I'm happy to be a contributor and advocate for helping many men and boys out there that need help. Cooking a steak in the woods is Certainly not enough, but it's a challenge that's accepted and it's for the deeper cause that this challenge is, is being accepted across YouTube with so many, uh, I guess men primarily, but women too perhaps. Let's go find a spot to set up shelter and cook this steak. I got a surprise for you. It's not the average steak, that's for sure. It's a winter wonderland in here. Beauty. Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Here I am at my uh, my site. It's snowing, beautiful uh, outside. You can see behind me all the trees are covered. But uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, mental health is uh, doesn't wait for anybody. And uh, just like the, the weather doesn't wait for anybody. So uh, rain or shine, snow or not, uh, show us your steak. Challenge accepted. And uh, here we are. We're going to get set up. And uh, we're going to showcase for you the uh, my firebox stove. I'll leave a link up top. But uh, that's something I'm super impressed with and uh, happy to share. I've got my bushcraft knife from last night where we uh, we engraved it with my my, my logo on there. So we're going to get some uh, little sticks processed up here and some kindling and uh, tinder and uh, get our firebox stoves lit up. Get this steak on. Okay, stay tuned. Looks like this will have to be the spot. Okay, found our spot and uh, let's get ready for a little bit of a lunch. All this <laughs> snow coming down, we're going to need uh, oh there comes more snow. <clears throat> need an area to get our lunch prep. All these small twigs are going to go on in a hurry. Benefit about working in the cedar swamp, everything is pretty readily available. <laughs> Every time you touch something, you get a snow shower. Uh, all right. A few more smaller twigs and we should be ready to rock. Okay, I just want to show you my kit. <clears throat> Spoon. Got a little fry pan. And some tinder. Perfect. A wood starter, fire starter if we need it, fork, and that's cool. I'm gonna try that today. 
show it that way, how that works. Bottom of the stove there. And what else do we got? Take a drum bag. And some tinder. Some magnesium striker, lighter, and so on. I always have a bearing block in case I have to do bow drill with some extra cordage. Got some fat wood, and I think that's that's all for now. Oh yeah, a couple of uh, other little things I'll show you about in a minute. <clears throat> okay, now for stove setup. Again, we'll leave a link up top for the the uh, the build of this and the use of it. A little bit of a review I did. So there's the base of the stove here. And again, we're not gonna leave it on this foam. We're just gonna demonstrate this for now. This is the little ash pan, it slides in the bottom. Here's the second level, a little riser, slides together. Here's our top plate. And there you go. Now in the bottom, again, we can put sterno, but we're gonna put our natural fuel in the bottom and we're gonna cook off the top. We're gonna to get our, our pot of water boiling. We're going to uh, prep up some uh, other little treats to accompany the uh, our uh, special meat of the day and uh, we'll get started. Another thing I had, I'm gonna give it a try. I had this from Ikea, I have no idea what it is. I think it's a steamer, but <laughs> its ability to fold open like that, I think lends itself well to sitting right up on top of the stove like that. And we might be able to cook everything right on top of okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna show this uh, in another video, but this is a compact portable grill that I made out of old um, toaster oven grills. So let me show you how to pull the, how this all goes together. Pull that apart, and then there's two ends. So you have your main cooking grill, and this tucks through and hooks under that little foot depression. And we do the same thing with the other side and under that depression, push them, slide them to the back, we have the wires away, now they spin it around, they cross over and grab the opposite There we go. And there's a bit of flexion through the middle, but that's where this wire comes into play. And just like that, we've got our camp, camp oven here, cook underneath the bottom here, or in our case today, we're gonna take the lower part of our Here we go, firebox, put it under there. And that way we're protecting the ground. We don't have to have any fire on the uh, natural ground here. I don't want to find uh, rocks and clear it all away. So that's one easy way to do it. Top load it for now.
Gives a bit of time to get some water on here for a drink. A drink. This thing's so handy. One of the things I like about this stove is with all those cutouts all the way around, you don't have just one central spot to to load the wood. So you can actually work yourself all the way around the outside and wherever you have a power hole, you can access the fire stove from it and just keep adding the wood. And just keep pushing those sticks in as they burn off. All right, pretty tough conditions here. It's just snowing, snowing, snowing on the verge of rain. But uh, let me show you what I have for lunch. In here, we've got not butter chicken sauce, but two venison tenderloins from recent harvest this fall. So pretty excited about that. And we've got some shallots, mushrooms, butter, and some spice for the tenderloin. Why don't we get that out and get started. Show us your steak challenge. Well, in this case, show us your tenderloins. Compliments of Shrub Butchers, local butcher, to, uh, to me here. So we're going to take our spice, which is a mixture of Montreal steak spice, spicy pepper medley, garlic powder, pepper, some salt. Apply that liberally. Okay, and I don't call it a rub for no reason. Pat it all in there. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And we flip it over. That's a lot of meat. And we'll apply the, the essence to the other side. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Fantastic. Okay. There we go. And some flames still kicking around here, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. My grill's working amazing. Firebox is working good. Let's get these bad boys on here. Yeah, let's hear that sizzle. Tenderloin is coming along with this small, small, uh, small fire. It doesn't lend itself well to uh, storing a lot of heat through uh, through its coals and ashes. So we have to keep adding some larger wood through the middle. But we'll roll the steaks off to the side there, and that ambient heat was uh, is doing a great job cooking up that steak. Looks great. Smells better. All right, it's coming along nicely. This one is a little too thick for the size of the fire, so we're going to try to cut it open here and flay it out. There we go. 
Just flay it out like that. Drop it over there just to speed the process up. I'm going to cheat with this little piece right here. There we go there. That's what we're looking for. Look at that. Show us your steak. Never mind. That's unbelievable. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, it's coming along, beauty. I like mine about medium. So we're gonna flip that over on there. Keep that cooking a little while longer. Well, that's cooking. I think it's time to get the rest of our dish on here. We're gonna move the steak out of the way. It smells amazing. All right. Need a bigger. All right, they say it has to rest, so we're gonna let it rest. In the meantime, got a little skillet here we're heating up get in a little bell of butter looks like it's warm enough to do that got a little shallot There we go. Add a few more sticks to this fire. Give it a little, a little bit of air here with my fire straw. Now we're cooking. We go butter and mushrooms. Shallots. Now we're talking. Super. Need a little extra to spice it on all those guys too. Maybe a little dollop of snow to. Get things really going here. It's getting a little dry in there. I was running out of butter. Another couple of minutes, and we'll be eating venison tenderloin, shallots, mushrooms, all dusted with some. Fine herbs and spices. Can't wait.
All right, well, it's about ready. Cut into this bad boy. Look at that. Tastes as good as it looks. You know, on all these cooking shows, when somebody tastes something really yummy, I don't know what it is, they close their eyes and shake their head. But that's the only action I can really see as fitting and deserving of this. Oh my God. Oh, smoke is in my eyes. Never hurts to have a reason to come out and do this. Thanks, Hayes Outdoors, for spurring this uh, this whole movement on. Right now, I'm trying to think of who to tag. Everybody should be so lucky. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This has been your Show Us Your Steak Challenge. And uh, believe me that uh, venison tenderloin came through uh, 100%. I'd like to tag three other brothers out there that uh, I hope uh, are doing well. Uh, firstly, Dave Whipple and uh, from History Channel alone. Dave, um, we've talked a few times and uh, you're, you always seem to be an upstanding guy that uh, can lend a hand and uh, certainly um, you, you did for me in terms of sound being a sounding board from some of the early YouTube questions I had. So thanks so much, Dave. Show us your stake, bud. Uh, keeping up with the Alone series, uh, Kind of contestants uh, the combo Jim and Ted Baird this is going out to you guys show us your steak take something with you on one of these tobogamy trips and uh, uh, or these be a be alive episodes and uh, let's let's see uh, see you cook something up on uh, one of those grills and last but not least as a early and a young youtuber uh, I've got 80 subscribers hoping to hit a hundred by the end of November I'd like to reach out to Mark Young um, Mark is a, is a YouTuber who gave me some uh, early subscription and um, he also is uh, very well known for a lot of his firebox reviews and I took a lot of his uh, inspiration going forward and making the one we actually cooked on today. So thanks so much. Click like, subscribe and share. Contact Hayes Outdoors if you want to hear more about the challenge. But, you know, enjoy the outdoors. Get outside, get in the woods and... Uh, you know, be well to each other and, and help other men out there that uh, can can that need a hand. All right, it's Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Thanks for watching. Take care.